Michael really wanted to promote the 25th anniversary of Thriller. And what better way to promote it than with a media and with a media company that you felt comfortable and that had treated you fairly throughout your entire career. We had a few places that we looked at and we decided on the Brooklyn Museum of Art. I go to the door, I open the door, and there's Michael Jackson. And so he says, hi, I'm Michael Jackson. And we all start laughing because, oh, really? Yeah, that is Michael Jackson. We have this booming sound system. You usually have a DJ on cover shoots or some kind of music going, so that's not unusual. What was unusual to me is they played almost all Michael Jackson songs. And he goes on this huge platform and immediately starts doing freeze frames of his most famous dance moves. I have expected him to bust into a move because he would just, he would just start. All of a sudden I go, this is it, this is it. <laughs> He's getting ready to move. But he wouldn't exactly do the whole thing, but he was enjoying it. I walked over to, to speak to him to just check to see how he was doing. And he says to me, are you getting what you need? He wanted to make sure that Ebony was getting the shot that we wanted. The night MJ passed, I think I was with him probably from around 5 p.m. to about 12.30 that night. Some of the band members mentioned to him, said, MJ looks different tonight. And I was like, what do you mean? He's just got a glow, he's got a swagger, he's got a vibe about him. And we finished one number and he looked back at me like, yeah, I can do this. Folks were awestruck. We had no warning. He was so vibrant the night before, so triumphant. People, when they talk, they didn't say, like, we lost Michael Jackson. Like, they would say, I grew up with Michael. It's like losing somebody that's been a part of your life. So, um, so I'm really glad I was here for that. But, yeah. I think his legacy is one of magic. His pebble was love. He put that pebble in the river, and the ripples just went out like that. That's MJ's legacy. I truly believe that when he passed, I think that a lot of his essence just jumped back into those recordings because they sound different now. I think that he said, Father, now I'm here to praise, but can a piece of me go and live in my music? And I think that he granted that. That's life, to want to grow and become more. and Like you plant a seed and it grows into something beautiful and it never dies, really. I think people should be that way. On June 25th, the light that was Michael Jackson went out. Fans around the world mourned him. But there was a special fervor in the black community. We had never seen anything like him. And we never will again. The final thing I really believe that God chooses people to do certain things, and that it's their mission to do that thing. And I feel fortunate in and being that, that instrument through which music flows. Deep inside, I feel that this world is a monumental symphonic orchestra. I believe that in its primordial form, all of creation is sound, and that, that it's, it's not, not just, just random, random sound, sound, that it's music. In the Gospels we read, and the Lord God made man from, from the dust of the earth and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and, and man became, became a living soul. soul. That breath of life to me is the music of my life. And it permeates every fiber of creation. And my goal in life is to give to the world what I was lucky to receive. The ecstasy of divine union through my music and my dance. It's, it's my, my purpose. purpose. It's what I'm here for. Michael Joseph Jackson. Jackson.